people around the world, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is again your one and only Miss All or Nothing, only here in Miss All or Nothing TV. For the third content of the year 2021, I'll be discussing today the topic entitled Visual Design Elements and Principles. Again, Visual Design Elements and Principles is the topic that I'll be discussing for today in the subject media and information literacy intended for grade 11 and grade 12 students all around the world so everyone find yourselves place comfortable as you watch and listen to the discussions that i'll be making pertaining to visual design elements and principles the very first visual design element that I'll be discussing refers to consistency. Consistency of margins, font size, font style, and colors is necessary, especially if you're making PowerPoint presentations or documents that are more than one page. Take a look at this example. Observing all products of Coca-Cola Butler's Philippines, no matter how they will change all their designs, but still, the font style that Coca-Cola or the word Coca-Cola still is the very same design since it started its first business operations until today, year 2021. The second visual design element that I'll be discussing refers to the center of interest, an area that first attracts attention in a composition, important objects or elements in a composition and can be achieved by conscious of values, conscious of colors, and contrast of placements. Take a look at example in your screen as projected. As projected in your screens, the center of interest is the starfish. But take a look at all the stones surrounding the starfish. Starfish, again, is the center of interest in the photo and not the stones. The third visual design element is the visual design element balance. Visual equality in shape form, value, and color can be symmetrical and evenly balanced or asymmetrical and unevenly balanced. Again, take a look at the examples in your screens. Now we have symmetrical balance, asymmetrical balance, and radial balance. Now take a look at the example of this doll. Maybe it's Voodoo doll. Not sure. But take a look at the balance from the smallest doll up to the tallest doll. What the what kind of balance are you observing? The fourth visual design element refers to harmony. Harmony brings together a composition with similar units. Notice how similar harmony is to unity. As you can see, projected on the your screens, the best example of harmony is the harmony of colors being projected right now in your screens. Also, second example is the harmony of these drawings. Three of the drawings are projected. The fifth visual design element refers to contrast. It offers some change in value, creating a visual discord in a composition. Contrast shows the difference between shapes and can be used as a background to bring objects out and forward in a design. And lastly, contrast can also be used to create an area of emphasis. Best example for that what is now being projected in your screens the daisy flower with its orange petals yellow orange petals and then the stock is green yet the background is blue that's what we call as contrast as visual design element number five also second example 
the entity in color black with different backgrounds orange background blue pink and yellow green that's what we call as conscious visual design element the sixth visual design element refers to directional movement a visual flow through the composition can be suggestion of motion in a design as you move from object to object by way of placement and position the best example for directional movement is being displayed right now in your screens showing the movement which is the first movement and the last movement of the design triangular shapes and also directional movement of airplanes as you can see being projected in your screens the seventh visual design element refers to rhythm a movement in which some elements recur regularly like a dance it will have a flow of objects that will seem to be like the beat of music perfect example for that are being projected now in your screens there is a rhythm of colored pencils and the rhythm of the design of a certain restaurant interior design of a restaurant that's what we call us rhythm as the seventh visual design element another visual design element we call as perspective perspective is created through the arrangement of objects in two-dimensional space to look like they appear in a real life perspective also is learned meaning of the relationship between different objects seen in space what you can see right now is the best example of what perspective visual design element is the horizon vanishing point railway line telegraph poles in the road showing perspective second example is the design of this buildings and street showing perfect example of what perspective is the very last visual design element talks about dominance now what is dominance dominance gives interest counteracting confusion and monotony of the design it can be applied to one or more of the elements to give emphasis what's being projected right now in your screens is the definition of visual design element dominance all stones are all candies in orange color but the dominant one is the biggest object as projected another example of dominance is the dominance of colors of the advertisement of Jollibee the dominant color is either red or orange everyone thank you so much for watching for this third vlog for the year 2021 discussing visual design elements and principles this is again you want to know miss all or nothing tv only here in miss all or nothing tv and don't forget to hit subscribe button share this content worldwide and continue watching without skipping the advertisements inserted in this video thank you so much and belated happy new year